What's up? What's up, my people, my family? Welcome back to the cave. Listen, I've been looking up these wildfires in Wyoming, which is not getting enough attention. The only place I see really talking about it is like uh, TikTok and X, but mainstream social media talking about left, right, Democrat presidential election and not how almost 100,000 acres in Wyoming uh, federal land is burning and is also threatening cities around Wyoming that's around, you know, the national, uh, the national park, the national forest, like Dayton, Wyoming. So we're going to take a look. You know, I like to learn about stuff, go down a rabbit hole, take you with me. I react to these videos. I do not watch them beforehand like some creators, but let's just go into it, see what's happening. God bless these people even before we start, but let's, let's learn about it. I'm about three miles outside of the city of Dayton and the fire feels close. I could only begin to imagine what it feels like to live this close to that fire. What sort of things would you take with you? Where would you go? Where would you take your pets and your livestock? All questions living in the town of Dayton right now. I started my day with a cup of coffee in my hand, standing behind Tongue River High School, looking up at the mountain with the flames. It's uh, pretty overwhelming. In 31 years, Superintendent Jeff Jones says he's never dealt with something like the nearly 50,000 acre elk fire, putting students back on Zoom for the foreseeable future. We've got families in crisis. We have students that either need to go help their families pack and get ready to evacuate. We have a lot of um, staff members who are actually in the fire department up there fighting. In all of its destructive force, the fire has drawn. I gotta think a lot of this is volunteer fire working too. These are people who fight that. Oh, what is that movie? Somebody put that movie in a comment where the firefighters, oh God rest their soul, they all died in the middle of the forest fire. Like it surrounded them. They covered themselves with blanket, but then that like the metal sheets that's supposed to be like flame retardant, it got real hot and it, it basically they melted. That shit is so dangerous. Man. On national attention. I live in California, so I'm used to wildfires. The mountains are always up so high, we don't really get to get that close. But it isn't just onlookers who have traveled from the far and wide. From all over the country, resources are coming to help. We have an operations section chief that if you hear him talk, you know that he's from uh, the New England area. People from all walks of life are coming together to protect places like the Mountain Inn Bar. It's That sounds good, too. And People coming together, bravo. I'm always going to cheer for that. But where is the federal government? Where is FEMA? What are they doing? Where is Biden? This is a major disaster. But we worry about every other country except for our land. How are you going to help the neighbors and not help yourself first? Pay the neighbors rent, but not your rent. Make no sense. Actually, the last retail place before you get up onto the mountain, it's my life. It's, it's the only thing I have. A place with a lot of history, not just to the town, but to people like Denise Townsend, who purchased the barn nearly a decade ago with her late husband. Are you ready to go? In ways. I mean, I've thought about all the pictures that are, you know, 50 years old in here, and it's like, it would take a lot of time to take them down. <laughs> but Superintendent Jones says if the worst hits, the best of Sheridan County, will continue to strike back. If something were to happen like that, where we lost our school, we lost our town, um, we would have much bigger issues to deal with in terms of coming together and, and helping each other out beyond math, science, and social studies. Marcus Gakova, MTN yeah, News. They're like, what's gonna happen to the school if, if, uh, Red, gray, or, or what's gonna happen to the children if, the school's out like that. They ain't concerned about that. Like people live, their parents, jobs. Like, how do you just do that? Can you imagine? That's like a third world country stuff. We go help people and people, uh, other countries that's like facing natural disasters and they, and their local uh, politicians and government can't help them and Haiti and things like that. It's not supposed to happen in America. Let's continue. Road here in Sheridan County had been closed because of the fire, but thanks to milder weather, dozens of property owners have been able to visit their cabins temporarily on this road. As a former volunteer firefighter, Bonnie Wright is used to big fires. When Mother Nature throws her weight around, 
she she usually rules the roost. But the elk fire still took yes, the sir. bighorn resident by his toes. The way this one has moved is pretty unusual. Wright may no longer be a firefighter, but this one has hit close to Everything's unusual. They said the, the, the hurricanes that's coming from Florida, they're like, wait, it usually started from over here, but it's coming from the Gulf of Mexico. This is weird. Now, he even he say the way this fire is moving is weird. Like, that's... that. We've been facing storms for hundreds of years, thousands, I mean, since the beginning of time, whatever, whatever it is. As Americans, we've been facing these storms and hurricanes, we know these, and Tornado Valley and things like this, but now they're acting weird. I don't know if it's global warming and everything. We worry about AI and, you know, Elon unveiled the robots. What are we preparing for that? But it's like the simplest thing, like the dirt, the ground around us, if we're not taking care of. We, we're looking for technology advances and AI and ChatGBT, but... Basic fire will wipe us the fuck out. Fuck a nuclear weapon. A fire. A fire. A thing we use to cook and, and light stuff and candles and make fire. It's crazy. I have a cabin on the mountain. How? So, uh, it's been our family probably eight years, something like that. Wright's cabin is on Red Grade Road, right outside of Bighorn, a road that's been mostly inaccessible the past couple of days. There were portions that were closed um, from the beginning, but then uh, just recently in the past couple of days, they uh, you know, closed an additional portion of it. So it's kind of a full closure on Red Grade Road now. Taking but mild weather has given Red Grade Road cabin owners like Wright a window of opportunity. Forrest is trying to, you know, accommodate these cabin owners and letting them um, meet at the road closures and then get into their cabins to just grab what they um, need to and then come out by five o'clock tonight. Giving Wright the chance to check on his cabin. It's very quiet for the most part. Um, and uh, doesn't seem like that big of an emergency right now, but I know things can change quickly. A change of pace from what he's seen this past week, bringing out the best in the community in an otherwise awful situation. Thank you. Makes you um, believe that we have a chance as a civilization when you see come out of the people people come out of the out of the woodwork to donate and and to help in any way they can. In Sheridan County, Alina Howder, MTN News. Everybody helping. That makes me feel good. Americans helping Americans. We love helping each other during crisis, 9-11, different storms. And but as soon as it go back to normal, we start fighting. We start fighting again and getting political. But that's what it's, that's what it's supposed to be. Let me see what else is out here, man. I'm just trying to learn about this. Right now, the live desk. It's Right now, they're reporting that it's less than 10% of it's contained, and it's spreading through most. There's like patches because the wind is taking us, right? You have a tree on fire, and the wind's blowing, and it takes these little embers, and they fly everywhere like goddamn seeds in the air, and they land somewhere, and it just cut on fire. Everything's dry out there, and it's all bushes and grass, and it's just hay. Oh, man. Evacuations underway in Dayton, Wyoming, as several wildfires continue to burn thousands of acres. Right now, the massive elk wildfire in Wyoming spans 75 plus. That, like I said, almost 100,000. I think this video from two days ago when I saved it. This is almost 100,000. One 1,000 personnel working to put that out from all around the country. I heard people coming from Texas, all these other states. These volunteer firefighters and things like that is just flocking to them and say, what do you need? What do you need? How can I help you? I love to see that. It's over 75,000 acres. Nearly 1,000 firefighters are out there trying to get this thing out. And that's just one of several fires happening across the state. Brand new images right now this morning from one the Bighorn National Forest local. on your screen. Now with the fire growing, more people are this. Look at that thing. And then I hear his conspiracy theories like, nah, I'm going to look and see if I see one of those videos where it's like, uh, they think that the government did it. It was supposed to be like a place on uh, Bighorn or, or Elk, whatever you want to call it, where there was a storage facility of, of fuels, a lot of fuel there. And they say it was struck by lightning, which started this whole thing. Not somebody being, not somebody, not a, some, you know, somebody smoking and throwing something. They say lightning happened to cause this. I guess it's, it's a little odd. And they happen to like just find some rare earth minerals or something like that. And, and they're trying to basically get permission to mine in Wyoming, but they're like, ah, oh, this could have did it. They might be trying to destroy our town, so there's nobody here. And they can say, hey, can we have that land to mine on since nobody's using it? Eminent domain type shit.
South are on high alert for expanded evacuations. One of the major areas of concern, the large water treatment facility. It feeds water to the entire area. 38 large active wildfires across 10 states right now. Remember, we just had the hurricanes. It hit Florida. What else it hit? Uh, different little parts of, in, a, in a little that, that little area. And we're talking about this Wyoming fire, but it's 10 states, 38 fires across 10 states. And several of them, several meaning four more, right, is in Wyoming. Right now, trying to figure out how all of this started, trying to get them under control, burning more than a million acres. We'll keep a close eye on the conditions for you. Any major developments, we'll have it for you right here. Jeez. On Sunday, the town of Dayton is covered in a thick layer of smoke, but it's that smoke that may be beneficial in helping fight this fire that continues to grow. We'll take out the it oxygen. breaks my heart to see this. As the Dayton mayor looks out to the smoke-covered mountains. And where we lost the residences three nights ago was over here in what they call the Horseshoe subdivision. And he may not be able to see it, right. but he knows the loss occurring as the elk fire continues to grow to over 70,000 acres with 0% contained within a few hundred yards of that facility and of course we were worried about evacuating. Dayton residents don't need to go yet but need to be prepared. Dayton is currently still in a set status so it's one it's one above. What's that Friday September 27th Rocky Mountain Area Complex Incident Management Team calls undetermined so it was undetermined at first size 62,000 acres containment zero it was 500 personnel approximately six miles northwest of Dayton, Wyoming. Due to fire activity, the Sheridan County Sheriff increased the evacuation levels in the following areas. Go west of Beckford Road, continuing south, set town of Dayton. Damn. Fire crews were very busy overnight around in the fire perimeter. So this is when it just popped off, September 27th. The fire activity was experienced. This is for anybody No, That's crazy to think they put this shit out. Oh. Ready, certainly fluid, dynamic in what we're doing um, with the evacuation statuses within the communities here in, in, the, in the town of Dayton and the rest of the communities surrounding it. Take a look at just how much smoke has settled into Sheridan County. This shot is from Saturday morning, and this is what it looks like. Work done around structure crews to get some. Do you see that? Can you imagine being at the bottom of this hill with your family, your friends, working? You mean you? you this is a American. They probably working nine to five, working paycheck to paycheck, just like you know most of America have got less than a thousand dollars for emergency, and this. I can't even imagine. Like, even us, we're lucky. We're on YouTube watching this. You on YouTube or wherever you see this or short, whatever it is. But you ain't here, probably. And thank God for that. I hope you're doing okay. Uh-oh. Work done around structures and in other areas of the fire. As a crew, so that's work the same. done around structures. Allows so that's the same place. This is at night. And then in the morning, our crews to get some work done around structures and in other areas of the fire. Help ranchers save their livelihood. This is obviously something huge. That's a lot of animals, too. They can go. But I bet you a lot of farmers, they're going down with the ship. You see that man in Florida with the hurricane. He's like, I ain't leaving my boat. Everything I own is on his boat. Can you imagine you have livestock? Half the people love their dogs and cats. You imagine leaving them in the house, having to not take them with you. You they just save. They might die. They might not. Now imagine horses, livestock that's worth your money, that's giving your family food, that's bringing in income. Not a little pet that's taking food from you every day. You're like, this little brat don't even want to uh, let me pet him. Ugh. It's happening to our community and, and the outpouring support. That a fire raging with little end in sight. There's a very good chance that you will see smoke, perhaps even if it kind of calms down the activity wise, that you will see smoke until we have a good cover of snow up on the mountain. We won't see it recover in our lifetime. In Dayton, Haley Monaco. We won't see it recover in our lifetime. That shit won't be green for a while. And what's crazy is the fire makes the land more fertile. And this could take, and when they say like, when they say like, hey, the government might want to take this land, it could be not tomorrow. It could be a year process. Hey, in five years, you know, after the fire settled, we're going to try to get a permit to mine here or something. I'm going to watch this video. I'm going to try to find a video about that. I've seen it. I'm going to try to find a video right now. Oh, MTN News. Let me put it up. I'm going to use this. Let's watch this. For one. the town of Dayton, it seems the time of fire is gone. I saw a lot more concern 
here a week ago. I see a lot more smiles on people's faces now. Now life returns. Now. This is the most up updated video. They're trying to return back to Dayton. It's time to come home. All these videos to in the last two normal. days. Homecoming comes with its own era of distractions, let alone when you've got helicopters flying overhead and active fire on the mountain. To escape one distraction, the students and staff of Tongue River High School are indulging in another. But we don't have a dance. It's a, we're having a movie night tonight. The Bulldogs are coming into town for a 6 o'clock kickoff. Parades, movies, volleyball games, football games. For the sake of the kids, remember, it's not just adults. You have kids, teenagers, you know, 13 to 19 out there too. And when everything's shut down, you got to stop them from getting in trouble and doing shit. Or let's go up to the mountain, dudes, or whatever it is. And try to have some resemblance, uh, something that resembles a uh, regular activity, a regular schedule. Because some of these kids, imagine if you're a senior and you're in football or something, basketball, and you're in the middle of the season or something, and it just started, and whatever sport, and you're like, oh, I don't even know I'm going to be able to play that. And your senior year, that's a lot. That's a, oh, you're going to have to remember that. It's all to say one thing. I missed you, neighbor. Because yeah. we've been separated for like yeah. the last week and a half, so just like seeing all our friends and coming together like, as a school, it's going to be really fun. I take a lot of pride in, in having the boys back around out on this field. And I missed them while they were gone. I was worried about them. I felt very helpless. But this revelry wouldn't be nothing like teachers who care possible if everyone hadn't come together. When we needed uh, bulletin boards uh, built for our public information effort, the uh, high school students uh, here locally actually stepped up and built the boards for us. Though some things won't ever be put back to perfection. It is kind of sad looking at the mountain and not seeing it with us. I have so many stories and just memories that have happened on that mountain. It's like camping in the summer and cutting down like Christmas trees. Dayton wants to say thank hey. you. Do you guys want to add anything else? I think just a thank you to all the first responders yeah, that yeah. have been helping our community. Which, as it turns out, is mutual. We want to say thank you for all the community members who have donated so much. Marcus Kakova, uh, MTN News. Here for, for making us feel welcome. Before this is over, let me see if I can find uh, uh What about the conspiracy? Let's see. This is the one I was watching. I watched this one. That's why I didn't show you. A thousand firefighters are battling a pair of wildfires in Wyoming with an estimated 100,000 acres burning. Officials say the fires were caused by lightning strikes, but as fast as flames have spread, so have the conspiracy theories. Some social media users floating unproven claims suggesting a connection between the elk fires growth. That's what I see. I didn't read this one. Uh, people, if you are curious as to why Wyoming is on fire, the Rock Springs up list was highlighted for its lithium content and batteries and shit. With, estimated, with estimates suggesting there could be up to 18 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent, which would be a substantial uh, reserve. That's why. So they saying that there's lithium under there that can make like the U.S. like one of the number one exporters of the of the uh, earth mineral things. That's in your batteries, the double D's, everything we use got lithium in it. Probably the phones, everything. Your phone battery, I think, has lithium in it. Most likely, probably. <laughs> I don't know if Tesla and them. You know, we're trying to go electric as the U.S., especially Democrats. So I don't know if the Democrats get elected and we go electric, they might have to be in here in Wyoming and you're elected for four years. So maybe the second year they start coming and making stuff and slowly they start passing legislation and things like that. And like, oh my God, before you know it, people forget about the fire. It's been a year, two years. You forgot about the fire. Now it's about making money and it, this is going to bring jobs or whatever it is. And it's really going to destroy people's lives and our, and our country and our planet. Growth and lithium deposits alleging global leaders are starting the fires on purpose to clear out the land for lithium mining. Wyoming recently announced lithium discoveries in Natrona County, but Bighorn National Forest, where the elk fire is burning, is far from that site. Experts also note hot, dry, and windy conditions have fueled the fires as crews fight to stop their spread. Evacuations have been ordered across several counties, and U.S. Highway 14, one of the main roads in the state, was shut down. 
The state is taking action to protect livestock and is getting emergency funds from the USDA to help with agricultural recovery. Residents took to social media this week, expressing frustration. There's a serious disconnect with our media. I'm preparing for Hurricane Milton and haven't heard a thing about Wyoming being on fire. That's why I'm doing this. Fuck mainstream media. They don't love us. They want the money. Uh, this should be front page news. Americans having to evacuate. Where's the media? I agree. Anytime Americans, uh, a mass amount of Americans have to leave somewhere, this sh it should be front page news. Uh, if a small town is evacuated, I don't care if it's in uh, Indiana, wherever it is, in Chicago, in California, whatever it is, we should all know about what's going on, especially if it's ongoing for weeks. ...over lack of media coverage. They note most news outlets are caught up in Hurricane Helene recovery and Hurricane Milton barreling down on Florida. For more on this story, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit... S yeah, yeah, download that Straight Arrow uh, News app. I don't mind. Listen... Uh, this is so hard. I don't know. That's why we come to the cave. We hear, we watch these things. I want to know your opinion too. That's just, it's just sick. Every time I, I just, you just couldn't, I just couldn't imagine it being you. You just don't, like you don't prepare for it. And a lot of us just like, oh, it ain't going to be us. Like if they happen to me right now, boom, my family's not prepared for that. Like we're not prepared to, <laughs> to uplift everything and take everybody and, and, and who paying for this? Like, if they're not getting any, if the government's not with them, if they're not there, like, you know, FEMA with the hurricane giving $750, what are they giving these people? So they are they using their own funds? Or you got local hotels and stuff and people just staying with everybody and say, hey, you can come stay with me. I, I could take two. Oh, I could take three. Hey, we got an extra spare house over here. We could take a family. That's sick to think that we pay taxes for this. Our tax money is not just for the military and going to war for other nations and when the politicians. It's to help each other. It's a savings account to help each other. But they're constantly taking from that account and giving it to other people. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul. And when Peter gets an emergency, it's like, what the hell am I going to do? You cannot go ask Paul. They ain't about to give us no money back. The Ukraine ain't giving us no money back. Israel ain't giving us no money back for those bombs. Come on. One of those ballistic missiles are, are, could 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 help all these people these missiles they're giving israel is like two hundred fifty thousand. a predator drone missile the the the, 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 the missile that it has and a predator uh, i mean a, a, a reaper uh, the hellfire missile Th those are like two hundred fifty thousand each and they hitting terrorists with them and drones come on man we can't keep doing this these politicians are raking in hand over fist on us but that's what we're here for. That's why we come in the cave and discuss this shit. And then we leave out the cave and we go play their game and we be good people while they want to play games. We don't say, oh, man, the game's rigged. Why even play, man? That's how they get us. If all the good people leave the game, then you only have bad people playing. And there's only three people. It's the good people. It's the, the, the I want to call them bad people, right? Well, they're really just misguided. But for this instant, we're just going to call them bad to keep it simple. Where I really don't believe in good and bad, but it's reasons. But there's good people, there's bad people, and there's the people that's just oblivious, right? There's, there's the, the people that's just working out of five and just, I just want to live my life, man. Just don't bother me. They don't bother nobody. You don't bother them. But we got to look out for them, too. Because they don't know no better. If they did, if they could pull that wool over their eyes, they'd be like, oh, my God. It's a trap. They're trying to trick me into, into working this. They're trying to trick me into buying the Gucci and Prada and all these uh, expensive items. So then I got to work and I'm in debt and $50,000, $100,000, $200,000 uh, loans and, and debt and credit card loans, $50,000 credit card loans, a, a $750 car note. Where if they knew something, they say, you know what, I'm not going to. Rob Peter to pay Paul. I'm not trying to impress my neighbors and they get a car note was, you know, $200, $300 a month. How much could they say, do with that extra $300, $400 saved a month? How much interest would that collect? How much can they put that in stocks and, and watch it grow? You'll never know. That takes time and discipline. It's like it's like half of America's obese. I'm big too. I'm, ob I'm not obese. I'm a little hefty right now. I'm a little fat. But I know how to eat. I know calories in, calories out. But you could know something. But to do it, to put it in practice, well, that's the definition of discipline. And we all are guilty of falling off sometimes. I got to get back on track. I am getting back on track, and I will be back on track by the next month. So, listen, 
prayers to the people of Wyoming, man. I don't know. I don't know what I would do if I was in their shoes. But if I could do anything, I, uh, shit, I'm going to look up some some ways or something. I don't know. I don't even know what to do in these instances but to just pray to the ancestors that they help them and, and, and vote. Vote, 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 vote. Don't let them trick you. Vote. But my people in the cave, let me know what you think about this and this topic. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe.